right now. Yes. Hello, Dan. Certainly. How are Hello. you? Hello. Start from the very beginning. Where were you born? Where are you from? What's your story? Well, I was born in Ashland, Ohio. Um, that's a real and, place, uh, right? You're not making that up. That's a real place, okay. yes. I've been a musician since I was five years old. I remember standing on a milk crate at the church pulpit next to my father, who was a reverend and church pastor, and my mother was at the piano. Uh, we were a trio, and I sang the soprano part. Uh, at that time, the Blackwood Brothers Gospel Quartet sang at the church, and the music made a huge impression on me. I found out later that they were Elvis Presley's favorite group. I began playing the piano at age 10 years old and probably performed at least a thousand times as a soloist, member of uh, various choirs and other ensembles. There were one-man shows and I played in rock bands. I began writing music professionally at the age of 19. There's another poor man who lives down the street who doesn't have the money for new shoes on his feet. He works hard each day to earn his wage. It seems that life is a surrounding cage. And when I see the confusion all around us, Talking to Dan Nelman Nice Wander. Uh, but it's it nice wander. Just think nice and wander. It's, nice wander. It, my Swiss grandfather. Did I say nice wander? I think I said nice something wander. like that. It's very okay. easy to mispronounce. I just it's said okay. it in the moment. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You were being <laughs> okay. spontaneous. I worked as a background actor in Hollywood TV shows and films, and worked on various film projects, and uh, taught English in Japan while in California in my twenties. Um, when I was back east in Indianapolis, Indiana, and in the Midwest. I recorded two professional albums. I've always been in a music family. Mm -hmm. I mean, music's been the thing I've done longer than anything else in my life. Revolution of the Heart was released in 1999, and it features songs such as Compassion. All right, put your hands together for Now Man. I'm a peace activist, and I think automatically when you promote peace, you are anti-war. And uh, for me, this is the core of what it all means. Compassion is the name of the song. Compassion 
Can you see the tear in the eye of someone who knows the meaning of compassion? Everyone can seem to be in need one way or another. Can you see the tear of joy in the eye of someone Oh, who knows the meaning of compassion Everyone can seem to be in need One way or another One way or another Everyone is our sister and brother one way or another Thank you. Chameleon, that featured Dane Clark, the drummer from the John Mellon Camp Band. The quirky, funky space. scheduled program and also surfing with Jesus with co-producers twin brothers Eric Klee and Mark Johnson and that was definitely a crowd favorite I performed and produced dozens of live shows as a one-man act and then the nice wander band including a monthly variety show at Birdie's live nightclub for three years I was used to producing um, live shows mm -hmm. and even had a variety show at a nightclub for four years mm. that and I could bring in characters, which you know now man was one of my characters right. technically. And I, I uh, one night actually, I had to stop the show and let Prince and New Power Generation play. So it was pretty cool. <laughs> I guess that's if you got to let somebody play. <laughs> yeah, right. Might as well be Prince of the New Power Generation. But I was also one of those kinds of people that just like you know not just music. You know, mm -hmm. people like David Bowie inspired me that to do anything I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Right. And the Nice Winter Band played at a huge. Uh, Clear Channel Music Festival that featured several stages and acts as diverse as Blondie, Los Lobos, The Roots, George Thorogood and, and The Destroyers, and Sugar Ray. Um, the band performed live on the local Fox Morning News show twice, and my music was played on commercial radio stations in Indianapolis. I performed about a dozen characters in my live shows and videos uh, that I called Nice Wonder Rock Theater. The characters included now man, the superhero of the present moment. 
avant-garde artist Chip Jingleheimer, stand-up comedian Buddy Shine, Dan Westwood, who was a British undercover secret agent, lukewarm, a storyteller, rock and roller, mellow man, punk rocker, glam, Sam, Mojo Workman, Dr. Hans Newtcase, time traveler. I had a lot of fun with it. Mixed it up with rock and roll. Uh, there were songs on the album 2003 release, Adventures in Wonderland. It includes the melodic punk rock song, Read a Book. How's everybody doing? Thank you very much, uh, Kulaks. This is great. I've been here before. I used to live down the street, actually. I need love, but that's not all. Something to simulate my brain. Doesn't have to be that deep. Something to take with me in a plane. I'd like to read a book, but a song that has a hook. Travel to exotic places. I want to read a book. Well, there's always a story to find. Something better of any kind. Not just look at the pictures. I want to read a book. Oh, oh, oh. Also, everyone. I want to love you to the nth degree Because it feels so natural Like beauty is more than skin deep it isn't just physical We have a special bond It doesn't matter what you call it So simple yet complex Like a puzzle every piece has a feeling that I said everyone in this place Makes the world go round Mojo, I've Got to Love You This Way, and Fun to the Nth Degree, which is the theme song of Now Man, superhero of the present moment, and later my television show, The Now Man Show. I also co-produced my first short film with Matt Summers that was a 20-minute promotional film called Chameleon included on this album and it was screened at the Alternative Film Festival in Indianapolis in 2004. During that time I was president and co-founder of a nonprofit called the Olive Branch Society and was a media ambassador for the UN program Adopt a Minefield which included uh, working as an internet reporter in a Hollywood press corps, uh, lots of interviews, um, including Jay Leno and Mickey Rooney, producing and hosting benefit concerts and uh, being a featured contributor to their fall 2004 newsletter, The Deminer. 
Uh, during this time, I was also published in the Nouveau News Weekly newspaper and played the part of Taylor Garrison in the London Sci-Fi Film Festival award-winning fan film, Saving Star Wars, that starred the original Darth Vader, David Prowse. And after finishing a bachelor's degree in marketing, I returned to Southern California in 2007 and was a primary organizer for Occupy the Rose Parade and appeared as Now Man with actor Jason Alexander of Seinfeld uh, in one of his videos on funnyordie.com in 2012. Because uh, you, you've brought up the characters before. What's the, <laughs> the Now Man? The Now Man is the superhero of the present moment. Okay. So I've been working on it for a while. Like, for instance, the Now Man's on the cover of this album here. Uh -huh. uh, and, um, but I also did, like, experimented when YouTube came along. I thought, well, what, I could do something with this character, you know, and it's just mm -hmm. very basic stuff. And then I wrote this book because I wanted to develop the character more and mm -hmm. uh, uh, what goes on in the mind of a superhero, hmm. right? Okay. And um, the so I just kind of according to now, man. Yeah, and that by just, now, man. <laughs> I just wrote it, you know, real spontaneous, uh -huh. like I went day by day, like a journal, right? Uh -huh. And just like, what am I feeling today? And so there's a lot of you know interesting little antidotes and things, you know, spontaneous moments right. that happen, just like when you write music. 